In this section, we will talk about port-based authentication, IEEE 802.1x. Post-based authentication roles. The first role in the post-based authentication is the authentication server. The authentication server is the radius server where the authentication of the wide client actually takes place. It could be ACS, ISE, Windows, NPS. Here you define the specific EAP methods that you want to allow and its settings such as certificates, policies. Here you also have the local database with the client credential to be checked or it could be linked to an external database such as Active Directory. The next role is the authenticator. It's usually the switch or ISR routers and it acts as the proxy between the client and the authentication server. Here you configure on the post to force the dot one x EAP negotiation with the clients and you define the radius server that will be used for the authentication. The last role is the supplicant. The supplicant is the wild client trying to connect to the secure LAN. Here you define specific EAP methods and the client security credential such as username, password, certificate, in tokens that has all the roles related to the post-based authentication. As we have already configured the switch with port-based authentication using IEEE 802.1x, the access port that connects to the client workstation will be in the unauthorized status. As soon as the client workstation connect to the accept post, the client must be installed and configured with the 802.1x client software and the client will send the EAP OL start to the switch. The EAP OL stands for Extensible Authentication Protocol over LAN. The switch will send the EAP request identity back to the client. The client will respond with the EAP respond identity to the switch. The switch will take that and send the radius access request to the authentication server. The authentication server will send the radius access challenge back to the switch. The switch will take that and send the EAP request with one-time password back to the client. The client will then respond with the EAP respond one-time password to the switch. The switch will take that and send the radius access request to the authentication server. The authentication server will verify the information and after it's being verified is correct the authentication server will send the radius accept the radius access accept back to the switch and the switch will send the eap success to the client workstation and the post become authorized and it will change the status here to authorize status and the client can access the switch and all the resources within the network after the client disconnect it will send the eap log off to the switch and the switch will change the post to unauthorized status post based authentication configuration in order to configure the post based authentication we need to prepare the following first of all we need to check the ios version to see if it 
is uh, version B4, the version 12.233 SXIs, or it is the version 12.233 SXI or later, because the iOS version will decide the sets of command that we are going to configure. The next item we need to prepare is a key string. The key string is shared between the switch and the radius authentication server. And in our case, we choose the key string is secret. The next item is the IP address of the radius server. And in our case, it is 192.168 dot three dot one the next item is the authentication post and we choose the default post is it is 1812 and the accounting post we choose the default post is 1813 and the interface that we will configure for dot one x and in our case we choose the interface g01 here is the general configuration for the post-based authentication for the ios version before the version 12.233 sxis as you can see it has two sections the first one is the global switch configuration and the second one is the interface configuration that we will configure for the interfaces that we want to enable for 802.1x we will go into the detailed configuration in the next slide as you can see we are on the cisco skill access switch one it has o ios version so let's get started with the global switch configuration first of all we need to enable triple a on the switch then we need to define the authorization method for 802.1x in this case we need to choose the authentication configuration parameters we need to set the authentication list for i triple is 802.1x we need to to the default authentication list we need to use a server group and we use a list of all radius host and that's it and the next step is we need to define the authorization methods for network authorization in this we need to choose the network for the network services and we also choose the default authorization list and we use a server group and we use a list of all radius hosts for authorization and that's it the next step is we need to define the accounting methods for the network is accounting and we select for the network services and we choose a default accounting list and we need to record this for the start and stop without waiting you know any start and stop event and we use a server group for the radius and the next step is we need to define the external radius server so the command is radius server host specify a radius server and we need to specify the ip address of the radius server 192.168.3.1 and we need to specify the key string and in this case the keys is secret next step is we need to define the authentication post and accounting post for the host we're going to select the authentication post the udp post for radius authentication server is 1812 and now we specify the accounting post for the radius accounting server and we use a default which is 1813 and that's it so we finish for the global switch configuration in the next step is we need to configure for the post that we want to perform the dot um, one x authentication to configure each post to use 
802.1x we first need to go to the port interface G01 now we need to change the port mode to the access mode so the command is switch port mode access now to configure the port to use 802.1x in this uh, version of ios we need to issue the command dot one x control the post authentication so port dash control and in this case we want the client to be prompt for the username and password so we need to select the auto so the out authenticate automatically auto now we're gonna configure to allow multi host on a post so we need to issue the command dot one x multi host and that's it here is a general configuration for the post based authentication for the ios version 12.233 sxi and later as you can see, it also has the two sections. The first one is global configuration on the switch, and the second one is the interface configuration that we want to enable for 802.1x. We will go into the detail configuration in the next slides. As you can see, we are on the Cisco Skills Distribution Switch 1, and it has the new iOS version so let's get started with the global switch configuration first of all we need to enable triple a on the switch then we need to define the authentication method for 802.1x aaa authentication.1x default group radius then we need to define the authorization methods for the network aaa authorization network default group radius then we need to define the accounting for the dot one x aaa accounting dot one x default start stop group radius next we need to define the external radius server so here we specify a generic name in this case i choose the cisco skills now we need to specify the address of the radius server we use ip version 4 and the ip address is 192.168.3.1 and we specify the authentication port and in our case is 1812 and the accounting ports we use is 1813 the next step we need to do is to first x out s and globally enable 802.1x on the switch by is using the command dot one x system authentication control that is that is for the global switch configuration for the post based authentication in the next slide we need to configure each post to use 802.1x to configure each post to use 802.1x we first need to go to the post and in our case it is the interface G01. Now we need to set the post to the access post. So the command is switch port mode access. Now we need to define the authentication and we need to set the port control value and we want the post state set to automatic. So it will require the user to provide their credential to be authenticated so the option is auto next we need to specify the role of the switch the dot one x in this case we need to set the 802.1x interface pae type so the pae and 
we need to set type of the switch is authenticator and the last step is we need to allow multiple hosts on a post so the command is authentication host mode and we choose as a multi host and that's it we finish for the configuration of both